Hello, I am Dr. Mrs. Alberta Bunzi Simpson, a senior lecturer and vice dean at the University of Professional Studies and an adjunct lecturer at the University of Ghana Business School. I want to talk to us briefly about meal planning. With our busy lifestyle, if we do not plan our meals ahead of time, we will end up skipping meals because it will be too laborious at the point when we are hungry to think and plan of what we will eat. In planning our meals, there are several considerations that we have to make. The first is to consider the demographic structure of the family if you are in charge of the family's nutritional well-being. You have to look at their age, you have to look at their health, and you have to look at the gender of your family. When you are looking at the age, the elderly require more vitamin D and calcium. Women and children require more iron, and adolescents require more protein and calcium for growth and for energy to propel them in their energetic lifestyle. Again, you also have to look at the time you have available to cook. Considering the time you have to, available to cook, you have to plan and do preparations before time. So a lot of the food will be par cooked and stored so that immediately you are ready to eat, you can put things together and have a full meal. You also have to look at the household preferences. Everybody in the house might have peculiar dishes that they like to eat. In as much as you don't want to cook different meals for everybody, at least in your meal planning for the day, everybody's favorite must feature one day or another. You also have to look at the food in season. There are certain foods that are plenty on the market during a particular point in time. These meal food stuff, because they are plenty on the market, are cheaper. So it is easier on the pocket for you to afford. You also have to look at the nutritional consideration. And in considering nutritional consideration in meal planning, you have to make sure you have some protein in there. The protein can be from animal source or from plant source. You also have to look at carbohydrates. There are so many forms of carbohydrates. You can have full grains, you can have uh, yams or tubers, such as cassava and yams, or any other carbohydrates that your family prefers. You also have to have some fats and oils and have some vitamins, some minerals, and don't forget water, which is effective and efficient for absorption of vitamins and minerals. You also have to look at the occasion. Sometimes it might be a birthday party, it might be a celebration or an anniversary. You have to cook special meals on those days. Above all, consider the financial status of the family or yourself. You don't eat above your means, and with every amount of money you have, you can still plan a holistic meal that is full of nutrients that will help you to live a healthy and quality lifestyle. <music>